All right, everybody knows we're being recorded now. And then we are going to actually mute so there's no more beeps when everybody comes in or hangs up. So give me just a second. The conference has been muted. All right, we've got a few people on the line. We're going to give everybody a couple more minutes to join and then we will get started. Thank you. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining. It's officially 1030, so I'm going to go ahead and get started so I don't waste anyone's time. Um, what I'm going to do is actually put the PowerPoint on the screen. Let me know uh, through the chat if you have any issues seeing. Uh, that way we can get it figured out if there's technical issues. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is online payment processing. Um, Pretty much what we know is what we do. So that's what we're going to talk about is our products and how they can work best for your local government entities. Um, so we named this one Straightforward Government Payments. It is a very straightforward and uh, very put together SAS solution. If you've never heard of that acronym, S-A-A-S, that is Software as a Service. That way you don't have to purchase a software downloaded on your computer um, we actually maintain all of that information for you. So that's what we're going to talk about today is our um, entire process from initiation of payment through the reporting system. Here's the agenda. So we'll go through basically who we are in IC services as a group. We'll put this on every single webinar. That way we continue to reiterate exactly who we are and what we do. Um, I did want to introduce myself. I am Jenna Coates. I'm a business development manager here at NIC Services. We are based in Olathe, Kansas, and we do serve the entire United States. Um, so if you need to talk to me, um, my contact information will be uh, provided on the last slide. And we are recording this, as you guys know, so um, we will be sending this out to everyone who joined and hopefully um, throughout all of our social networks as well so that people can continue to uh, join and listen and learn and uh, figure out more about how NIC services can work with your government entities. Uh, we have two products here at NIC services that we'll talk about. One is the payment engine, abbreviated TPE, and then we have another one that is um, our common checkout pages, which is abbreviated CCP. And as many of you know, in the IT world, everything is an acronym. So we will continue to reiterate what those acronyms mean. Uh, but as for right now, they are TPE and CCP. Uh, we do have two market updates. Um, and if you follow us on uh, Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn, we are continuing to blast market updates as they are relevant. 
Um, the two that pertain to this webinar are the Facebook Messenger payments. They just launched uh, the new pay as a group and split payments option, just like Venmo um, and how Domino's does Venmo and allows you to split that payment. Um, and then we also have MasterCard testing their biometric payments through EMV terminals in South Africa. Um, and we will go into more detail uh, as we continue on with the presentation. So there's a lot of words remind you that we are going to be sending this out to you. So if I miss anything or if you want more information, you can definitely um, ask and I will give you more information about everything. But I'm not going to read specifically from the slides. So I won't bore you, I promise. Um, NIC Services is the payment processing division. Our parent company is NIC. We are in the corporate office based in Olathe, Kansas. Um, and what we do, NIC as a whole, is create subsidiaries to maintain digital government solutions in 28 states at this point. We have a contract with 28 states to provide all of the government solutions that they need. So we build software, we build mobile applications, we do payment processing, we can pretty much do anything that that government entity needs. But here at NIC Services, our subsidiary is very focused on getting those payments put together. That is usually the backbone of your government service is to provide payments or allow people, your constituents, to pay you for the services that you provide. Um, so we have lots of options. Uh, we offer a full life cycle transaction management solution. What that means is from the time you initiate the payment online or in person, we process that payment through our software, through our gateway, through a third party payment processor, and then goes back into our reporting system and you are able to access that system and report your entire transaction. That way you'll be able to reconcile faster, um, I know our fiscal people out there really like to be able to go in there and push two buttons and get the numbers they want instead of having to go and sign into 35 different systems, try and crunch numbers and figure out why things aren't matching up. Um, so we decided to do that for you. We created every report that you could possibly imagine from um, transaction reports, order reports, SKU reports. Um, we've even got uh, disbursement level reports. Everything down to the nitty gritty, it's all in there. And I'll show you a screenshot here in a little bit. And then we also um, host all of this software at our PCI, which is Payment Card Industry, DSS, Data Security Standards, Level 1 Data Centers. We've got them in two different locations in the United States. That way we've got clear failover in case something, a natural disaster happens. Uh, that way your payments will always continue to go through and they are extremely secure. So you don't have to worry about anybody breaking in. Um, from our very first self-funded contract in Topeka, Kansas, can you believe it? Um, NIC started in Kansas. Kansas did something right. Um, and NIC has worked closely with government from then on to understand government how, and how government works in those offices. So we only work with public sector. Any of those government entities can contract directly with us. Um, you do not have to go out to an RFP to contact with us. Just get in contact with us and we will make sure that we get all of the information that you need um, to have this service without the hassle of going out to an RFP and maintaining all of these different responses. And that's a lot of time. So work with us. We can get it done for you quickly. Our payment processing services here we call them a one-stop shop because it is a management for the entire life cycle. We manage merchant service providers, financial processors, merchant accounts set up for you, financial reporting, and PCI requirements. As many of you know, PCI is very expensive. You need to be certified annually or on a quarterly basis. We do that for you. That is how we maintain that merchant of record status, and that is also how we um, continue to provide you guys with cost-effective solutions so you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money to use us. Uh, we also maintain end-user support for you guys. So we have a 24-7 call center. If anybody has any um, calls that they need to make to figure out what a statement, what a credit card charge on their statement looks like, or uh, maybe they just have a, a question, we can answer those. So, uh, working with NIC services, we make sure that your constituents get the best experience they can. 
And then by utilizing our enterprise payment engine, your agency will have the ability to track the full history of all transactions in one repository. That means you only have to sign in one time. You only have one password to remember. You only have one place to go to make sure that you can pull every report that you need and provide all of the services and all of the numbers to make sure that your life is easier. So that's what we do. We make it easier for you. A little bit more about P, uh, TPE, which is, again, the payment engine. Um, it is a level one PCI DSS compliant multi-channel payment gateway, which processes credit cards, debit cards, PayPal, and eCheck. eCheck is also known as ACH, which is Automated Clearinghouse. Are you finding all of the different acronyms hard to find? Yes, they're hard to map, but I will continue to tell you what each one is. That way, you'll get the hang of the lingo eventually. Um, NIC's payment engine, TPE, is a full lifecycle transaction management solution. It not only includes that gateway, but it includes extensive financial reporting, customer service, fund disbursement, and is fully hosted. I know I've said all of this before, it's necessary for you to remember that it is all in one place. It is a one-stop shop for you. Here's what one of our report, our order detail uh, looks like. When you pull it up on your screen, and it's kind of hard to see, I'm sorry. Is it hard to see on your screen? Okay, sorry, I've got Maria Cuevas in the office. Um, she's my guinea pig so that I can Make sure it looks good on your screen and it looks good on my screen. Um, she's our Senior Business Development Manager. And if you continue to um, join our 2017 webinar series, you'll hear her voice often as well. Um, so on the screen, you can see the account details, the payer information, the disbursement history, and the processor information. So you'll be able to see exactly what time the payment authorizes. And if you are in the payment industry, you know that an authorization is different than a payment success. So the authorization happens first. It makes sure that the, um, there is funds in the account, that this, will, this transaction will go through. And then the, it holds the funds until the payment is captured. And that usually happens within seconds of each other. Um, but sometimes it will authorize and then it will fail. And so we give you both of those line items so you know um, exactly what's going on with this payment. There is no question. You can see that the account um, fee was $2,500. The TPE fee, which is the fee that the NIC services charges as our um, self-funded model, we provide a efficiency fee on top of the fee that your government will choose, will choose to process. And then we will collect that fee before giving you your full amount. That way we can continue to maintain these services and provide them to you at no cost. And then your customers or your citizens or your constituents, whatever you choose to call them, are paying for the services you choose to provide them. Um, and then you've also got the payer information, whatever they chose to put in or whatever you chose to make required on the um, entry. And then you've got the account details. So you've got a parcel ID number, or you've got a SKU number, or whatever identifier you need to reconcile to your database, we can put those in there and customize each one individually. And going back to the beginning, I know it's kind of hard to see uh, the back end first, what it looks like after the payment is done, but I think it's very important to know uh, what the basis of that reporting is before I tell you how it works. So we have the TPE, uh, which is our payment engine, and that is what you've just seen, the report where you can go in and actually look at individual payments and get all of the detail on those individual payments. But going back to the beginning on how that payment is processed, we use a system that we created, and it's called Common Checkout. And it is a customizable and skinnable interface, which in skinnable and customizable also mean that we can make it look like your website. So when someone goes on to your website and they need to pay, they can just click a pay now button or whatever you want to make it look like on your website. We give you the link and they are transferred to our fully hosted PCI compliant e-commerce common checkout screen. <laughs> that's a lot of words, but that's what it is. And then you just like Shopping online, I know I use Amazon all the time. I'm sure some of you do as well. 
but you just put in your information. So you type in uh, who you are, um, what your billing address is related to your card. You type in your payment information. It tells you the total. It's all on one page. You're not going to go through 16 pages to try and get one payment completed. It's one page. You collect the information, and then you submit the payment. Um, the way that we make sure this is a sensitive, um, this information stays sensitive and does not go into your computers or hardware, and it does not go into my computer or ha hardware, is we encrypt it as soon as you hit submit. So we host those pages. That way you don't have the software on your hardware. And we, as soon as you process that payment, it automatically scrambles and encrypts the information and processes it through our payment engine, PPE. So no sensitive data is ever stored locally on state hardware, and no sensitive data is ever transmitted over your agency's network. Even if someone were to hack into your computer, they're not getting any information from our payment system. So that is something that you need to keep in mind um, when talking to other people. How are they making sure that that data is sensitive? How are you making sure that it stays sensitive? Is it encrypted? How long is it stored? Uh, where is it stored? We maintain all of that for you. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and then as we said before, CCP does integrate with TPE, and that is our common checkout portal, integrates with the payment engine for payment management and reporting. That is our full circle. Here's a diagram of what it looks like. So once you submit that payment, the data is entered into the checkout pages and sent through our TPE gateway for authorization and collection through a third-party merchant processor. NIC is currently certified with the following. You can read them all yourself. I won't read them all for you. Um, but the diagram shows you how easy it is. It is literally just a user goes online, clicks a button, enters their information, and gets a receipt. And then you, as the government entity, can go into TPE, pull reports, and see all of that data for yourself. Okay, here's for market updates. Um, Facebook has added a payment option to Messenger. I don't know if you've read about this. I've definitely shared this on our LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't know what those are, um, I will make sure to link all of our social media accounts when we send out this recording. Um, that way you can go in and you can follow us and you can make sure to stay up to date on all of payment information uh, pertaining to what our segment is each quarter. So this segment is online payment processing, in-person payment, in payment processing, and application payment processing, um, all pertaining to payments. So if you want to keep up with payment information, we share everything on our social media accounts. Uh, Facebook, this is the biggest one right now. Um, everybody's talking about it, how they've added their payment option. So what you can do is you can actually send and receive money between groups of people in Messenger conversations by selecting the payment icon and then choosing who to send or request money from using a, full, a list of conversation participants. So if you've ever ordered from Domino's Pizza or Papa John's Pizza, they're integrated with uh, Venmo, which is another payment processor, and you can actually select multiple people to split that payment with you. So it's pretty convenient. And then the other one is how MasterCard is testing their biometric payments in South Africa. So what this does is you actually go to the terminal, put in your card that is registered to yourself and your fingerprints. Um, you dip the card, which is actually inserting it in the terminal, and then you're actually able to put your thumbprint on the terminal, and that is how it authorizes uh, that fingerprint, that payment. So it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we'll see more tests like that coming through the United States so we can actually see how it works. Um, but I will send out these links as well so you guys know um, how to read it and read more about it. But these are the market updates for now. And as of right now, I think we are done. If any, I haven't gotten any questions through the chat, um, but I will unmute the line. So if anybody is interested in asking a question, you feel free. The conference has been muted. Nope. The conference has been unmuted. Okay, everybody's unmuted. 
Um, and I just want to give you a heads up that our next webinar is coming up Wednesday, May 17th at 10.30. They're always on a Wednesday at 10.30. Um, and that one is, is in-person payment processing. So we'll reiterate a lot of what we talked about here, um, but we will also talk about in-person um, and card present transactions. All right, any questions? Hearing none, I'm going to call this one closed. Thank you guys for joining and have a great day.